It's that time of year again. It's the end of June, beginning of July, and the Steam Summer Sales are right around the corner. It could be a great time of year for any PC gamer because you could get amazing sales and amazing deals on any game that you want. This also could be a very stressful time for gamers who are new to Steam or previously in other sales have wasted all their money on games that just looked enticing. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to try to instruct any new Steam users or anyone that has a very bad Steam sale problem how to strategically get the best deals on games when the sales come around so you don't waste your money and find out that the games that you've already bought became cheaper in flashed sales or daily deals or community choice sales. So stick around and we will go through everything. Okay, first on the list is the general sales. The general sales are like any other sale that you'll see on Steam throughout the entire year. But the only difference is it's on almost every game in the Steam library for a small discount, around 25-30% to 30 off. So this isn't the best time to buy your games since there is a chance they'll go on sale for higher discounts around maybe 50-75% to 75 off or even close to 90% off in some cases. So you have to have patience, patience is the key here because it could save you some money and possibly substantial money depending on what game it is. So have a little patience and wait for the flash deals or daily deals, which we'll get to in a second. Okay, next up are the daily deals. The daily deals are sales that happen every day and last for 48 hours. So in one day, you'll have six games that go up on sale from 75 to maybe 90% off. It happens sometimes, but not often, depends on the game. So you have 24 hours where these games are on sale. If you miss those 24 hours, there's another 24 hour period called the last chance daily deals where the sales from the day before, they still are up, but after that, they're gone and you might not see them at that price again. So there is a chance that during the flash sales or the community choice deals, you might find it for cheaper, but it's not. it doesn't happen often. And if it does, it's not that much less. So if you see a game that you like and you see a game that you've been waiting for, this is the time to pick it up because you might not see it for that price again until the next big Steam sale. Okay, next are the flash deals. The flash deals happen every 12 hours and are around the same price as the daily deals. Now, I wouldn't, if I saw a game during the flash deals that I liked, I would buy it. I wouldn't wait for the daily deals because you wouldn't really get more of a discount during the daily deals as you would in the flash deals. I mean, it sometimes happens, like I said before, but it doesn't really happen that often, and if it does, it's not that big of a discount. So buy it then, you have a better chance of finding a game that you like there because they happen more often. So great time to buy, pick up the games you want there, and during the da daily deals. The next kind of sale is the community choice sale. This sale happens every 12 hours, and the games that get marked down are based on voting from Steam users. So every once in a while you will see a, a set of three or four games that you could choose from to have the price marked down. Whichever game that you want, you just pick and you vote. You only get one vote per set of games. And after the, after the time limit goes down for voting, whichever game has the most votes will get the price marked down and the others won't. So if you find a game that you want to, go to have the price marked down, just go choose that one. But if you don't even want if you don't like any of the games, you don't plan on buying them, vote anyway, because most of the time in the past couple of, of seasonal sales, there have been achievements for voting in every one of the votes. So just hop on Steam every once in a while, vote for whatever game's there, and if you like it, you could buy it, but otherwise, you don't have to, and there's there's no harm in not buying it, so, uh, or not voting, I mean. So go ahead. This is a great time to buy too. This is probably the same deals you'll get in the flash sales and the daily deals. So if your game doesn't go on sale in the flash sales or daily deals, buy it here. because This is a great time. Okay, so at this point you've made it through the entire event. It's the last day and you've been waiting for a game to go on sale. So the last chance deal is, like it, like it sounds, the last chance for you to get whatever game you want. So this happens on the last day and games get marked down to their lowest price they've had during the event. So if you found a game during the flash deals and you missed it, 
just come back the last day and that game will have the same price it had during the flash deal It'll have the lowest price it's had during the entire event so if you're if you're patient you could get the best deal you could possibly get and it's also your last chance to get that deal until the next sale so if you can wait until the last day just to ensure that you'll have the best price you could possibly get and Otherwise, I guess wait until the daily deals, the flash deals, or the community choice, because otherwise you're not going to get anything better than this. Okay, so final thoughts before you head out and give all your money to Valve. Number one, be patient, because if you're patient, you'll be sure that you're getting the best deal you could possibly get on a game. If you're not patient, you get a game the first day because it's only 30% off, then you'll, you'll probably be sorry in the end when you see that the game went for 80% off and you wasted some money. Uh, number two, only buy games that you know you're gonna play. Now this is more for, for new Steam users. Uh, it's very, very easy to see a game that maybe you won't play, but it's just, it's so cheap that you just have to buy it. I don't, I recommend not doing that because you'll very quickly lose all of your money. And uh, that's kind of Steam's uh, purpose just kind of to make to make this into a game so that you just want to buy more and it's a great business business model but if you can try to resist because you will waste all of your money in the end and number three have fun because it is fun to buy games and especially know that you've got a great deal on a game that you could have fun in the end so remember just go play your games go have fun and forget about all the money you've wasted. I hope I helped you guys out here, all the new Steam users and even the veteran Steam users. Share this video t with people that you know are gonna be going into their first Steam sale and let them watch this before they go and waste their money. Uh, please subscribe if you did enjoy and rate the video because that always helps me out. So thanks again for watching and have a good Steam sale.